Today, I will show you how to correctly spool the spinning reel. At first, it might seem to be a simple procedure, but there are several details, ignoring which you will have trouble in fishing. I was surprised that even some experienced fishermen do not know how to do it correctly. So, let's start by tying the line to the spool. Let's put the end of the line through the rings of the fishing rod, or at least through one ring. This will make the process easier. I will use one part of the rod to wind the line. Then you need to remember to open the ring of the reel and tie up the end of the line to the spool. There are no special requirements here. You just need to attach the line firmly so that it is not loose and make sure that there is no big knot that prevents the line from lying nicely on spool. A simple double knot can be used here without any problems, but it is more convenient to use a self-tightening knot. I will show you how to do it. But the point is that you need to tie it up firmly so that it is not loose and that there is no thick knot. These are the basic criteria. Now with thicker line, I will show you how to make a self-tightening knot. For the demonstration, I will use a thick rope so you can see the knot better. Firstly, make overhand knot at the end of the line. Then pass the line around the spool. Take the end of the line with the knot and fold it around main line to form a loop. Then make the second overhand knot like this. This is how we made a self-tightening knot. It remains to toggle everything slowly and will be ready to spool the reel. Now that we have the line attached, it's time for the essential procedure, which is spooling the line on the reel. Here, fishermen use various techniques, such as placing line spool on a pencil, standing directly in front of it, and spooling on the reel. It can seem that everything is fine, but the point is that the reel spool rotates in a circle in a perpendicular position to the fishing line spool. So if you are doing it that way, your reel constantly twists the line while spooling. And the more you wind the line, the more it will twist. And when you unroll a bit of the line from the spool, you will see how it wants to twist and tangle. To prevent this from happening, we have to tilt the line spool so that the line comes off it in the same way as it is put on the reel. If the line turns counterclockwise, then you must also put it counterclockwise on the spool. Therefore, first let's look at which way the reel is spinning. We look from the back and see that spool rotates counterclockwise. Therefore, it is necessary that the line also unwinds from the line spool in the same way, counterclockwise. It means in my case, the line should be held like this. Then, the line will lie without twisting, but so that you don't have to hold it as uncomfortably as I do now. Here I have made a special stand for the line. You can just put it down, like this. It is unwinding counterclockwise, goes up and goes counterclockwise on the spool. You need to pinch the line with fingers so that it does not spool too loosely on the reel. I wrapped my fingers with a patch because the Chinese thread line stains my hands. The line spools neatly in this way. It will spool very well on the reel. What can be done wrong is to put the line spool in reverse. Wrong side. The line will then run clockwise. Just always remember to wind the line counterclockwise. Another thing, when you spooled a bit of line, unwind it a little from the reel and see if it will not tend to twist, get tangled. If everything is fine, just continue. I spool the line almost to the top of the edge. But it is not good to spool very close to the top, because then the line will slip too easily from the spool when you cast and knots may form. 
At the beginning, I suggest that you fill spool less. There is usually a groove like this at an angle. So spool up to the bottom of that groove and it will definitely be fine. Of course, the more you spool, the further you will cast your lure. So with experience, you will probably try to spool as much as possible and see how it works. Well, I see that on this reel I have spooled almost to the top. But this is still the limit, so that the line does not get tangled. Now regarding tension, you need to spool the line so that the line lies neatly and the line is not too loose. During the spooling, I keep the tension of the line moderately strong, so that it lays on the spool evenly and is not loose. The level of tension should be similar as when pulling the bait and fishing. Well, the reel is spooled. To check if it is really well spooled, as I mentioned, pull out a little bit of line and see if it does not twist or get tangled. Even pulling it out that much, it can start to twist if it is not spooled properly. Keep in mind that some twisting may occur because the diameter of your reel will not be equal to the diameter of the line spool. In any case, this way of spooling, the reel is the most correct. Everything is much simpler with casting inline reels. In this way, you can put the line spool on a pencil and spool straight because the spool of the inline reel stands at a different angle than the spinning reels and will coincide with the position of the line spool. Therefore, you can confidently wind the line by putting on a pencil and holding it in front of you because the line will go straight from here to here. There will be no twist. Everything is much simpler here, only with spinning reels you need to be more careful. I will also show you how to transfer the line from one reel to another. Who might need it? I do this when I have used the line for a year or two. Basically, only 20 to 40 meters of line are used, as much as you cast when fishing, and usually, we have significantly more line on the spool. And that line at the end remains of better quality, it is like new. That's way I'll transfer the line from one reel to the other and have that newer line on the outside. And I'll be able to use the same line for a season or more. The procedure is simple enough. Lift the ring of the reel. Now you need to tie the line to the new spool. Here again, either a self-tightening knot or a double overhand knot can be used. Which is what I'll be using now. To be precise, I am doing a triple knot. Now I realized it while tying. We place the spools one in front of the other. In this case, both spools will rotate in the same direction and the line will be laid correctly. And it's important to tighten the line when spooling. That's all. Take a look at what the line looks like. I will post a picture of what the line looked like on another reel. Now the line looks like new. As you can see, I didn't go all the way to the top. I spooled up as much line as there was. But this amount is quite good. That's all for today. Goodbye.